Edexcel A-Level Maths Mechanics, October 2021, question 2. A small stone A of mass 3M is attached to one end of a string. A small stone B of mass M is attached to the other end of the string. Initially, A is held at rest on a fixed rough plane. The plane is inclined to the horizontal at an angle alpha, where tan alpha equals three quarters. The string passes over a pulley P that is fixed at the top of the plane, and the part of the string from A to P is parallel to a line of greatest slope of the plane. Stone B hangs freely below P, as shown in figure one. The coefficient of friction between A and the plane is a sixth. Stone A is released from rest and begins to move down the plane. The stones are modeled as particles, the pulley is modeled as being small and smooth, and the string is modeled as being light and inextensible. Using mo the model for the motion of the system before B reaches the pulley, we need to write down an equation of motion for A. So let's begin by labeling our forces onto the diagram. We've got the forces due to gravity, both particles. So A has a mass of 3m, so its downward force is going to be 3mg. And for B, with its mass of m, its downward force is going to be mg. We've then got the tension in the string. So it's pulling A up the slope and it's pulling B upwards towards the pulley. And these are both T because it's the same tension force. A is on a surface, so it's also got our normal force, R, which is perpendicular to the surface. And this is a rough slope, so there's the friction. As A is trying to go down the slope, the friction F is going to be facing back up the slope. Using these and our equation, F equals MA, force equals mass times acceleration, we can apply this to A, and then we know that the force is going downwards, we're going to have 3mg sine alpha, so that's the component of the force due to gravity that is parallel to our slope. And we get the sine alpha because it's going through the angle alpha. And we're going to subtract F and the T from this because they're trying to pull back up the slope. So the total force going downwards is 3mg sine alpha minus F minus T. And this is going to be equal to the mass 3m times by A, the acceleration. For part B, we need to show that the acceleration of A is a tenth g. Before we do this, let's just work out what our sine and cos alpha are going to be, because that's going to be important. We're told in the question that tan alpha equals three quarters. If we were to draw a right angle triangle, our three and our four would be the opposite and adjacent sides, respectively. And by Pythagorean triples, three, four, the hypotenuse would be five. So from using that, we can see that cos alpha is going to equal four fifths, sine alpha is going to equal three fifths. So we can use these to find the acceleration. So let's model this with A. We need to find that normal force. So the normal force R is going to equal a three mg for the force due to gravity times cos alpha. So this gives us the perpendicular element of it. And this is the only force that's opposing R. So there's nothing else in there. But we know that cos alpha is four fifths. So R is going to equal 12 fifths mg. We can use this to find the friction as we know that the coefficient of friction is a sixth. So the friction is going to be a sixth times the 12 fifths mg that we've just calculated. So that's two fifths mg. We can now use these in the formula that we worked out in part A. So we know that 3mg sine alpha, sine alpha is 3 fifths, minus the friction of 2 fifths mg, minus T, the tension, is going to equal 3ma. Simplifying, we get 9 fifths mg minus 2 fifths mg minus T equals 3ma. Well, we can bring those mgs together. So we've got 7 fifths mg minus T equals 3ma. Let's model for B now. We're going to use our F equals MA formula. So the only force is acting on B of a tension pulling upwards and then the force due to gravity MG pulling downwards. So T minus MG, and that's going to equal the MA of the mass times acceleration. Rearranging this to get T equals MG plus MA, we can substitute this T into our earlier equation. So we get that 7 fifths MG minus brackets MG plus MA that we've just worked out 
is going to equal 3MA. Simplifying gives us 2 fifths MG minus MA equals 3MA. So 2 fifths MG equals 4MA. Well, we can cancel out the M's. So 2 fifths G equals 4A. So A equals a tenth G as required. For part C, we need to sketch a velocity time graph for the motion of B from the instant when A is released from rest to the instant just before B reaches the pulley and explain our answer. So we know that the acceleration is a tenth G. So this means that the acceleration of B is constant because a tenth G is constant. So if the acceleration is constant, our velocity time graph is going to be a straight line as this one. In reality, the string is not light. So for part D, we need to state how this would affect the working in part B. Well, as we've got different lengths of string each side and it's changing as our particles move, if we gave some mass to the string, this would mean the tension acting on A would be different to the tension acting on B. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.